Yeah, friend, your favorite French Canadian. Today, I'm gonna show you how to improve your FPS on Player Unknown. Uh, first of all, you have two ways that you can improve your FPS. You can use a config file and uh, you can use the set launch option. So we will start with the set launch option. Right click on the game, properties, set launch option. Make sure that you you guys add use all available cores. I didn't see a big improvement on my i5 PC, but the, for the i7, I saw four to five FPS, really weird. So the game is not using all the cores or all the threads. So uh, make sure that you're using this uh, command, very important. Also, make sure that you're using malloc equals system. This one, uh, t tough to say. I, I saw an improvement of one FPS. Not sure if it's the common, you know. It's a common that a lot of people are using in Arma 3 too. Um, so just put it over there. You will not like break your game or, or anything. It can just be good for you. And uh, the last option is the SM4. This one uh, will uh, downgrade your game with DirectX 10 instead of 11. The only thing that I saw, I saw some glitch with the X4 scope. So if you have that glitch, just remove it. But this one is kind of last resort. So just do the use all available core and the malloc and all the modification that I will show you in the config file. And if you still have issues with your FPS, you can add the SM4. So after that, config file. To find a config file, you need to go to your drive uh, where your uh, your C drive, yeah, your C drive, uh, user, the name of the user on your computer, app data, local, TSL game, save, config, Windows Node Editor. After that, you open the game user setting. You can open it with Notepad or uh, Notepad plus plus, whatever you want. Here, very really important, view distance, anti-aliasing, post-processing, texture quality, effect, just put one, and remove the shadow and foliage. When I say remove, it's not necessarily remove because zero in the game equals very low, but just to put shadow and foliage at zero, you will gain uh, seven to 11 FPS depending on your computer. Uh, right now, it seems that I don't use like, like uh, how can I say, like good quality uh, for my graphic option. But uh, I still have a good computer. I'm using an i7-4790K and my uh, video card is an RX4 uh, 480, uh, the 8 gig version, the Nitro Plus, so it's overclocked. Uh, so I have a pretty good rig. This game is not well optimized for now. So just use this setting and you will have a lot of more FPS. For res resolution quality, this one put it at 90. Uh, you will see it's, it's weird. You will gain more performance and you will see better in the game. Don't, not sure why, but make sure that your screen scale is still at 100, okay? You don't And no, don't put more than 100. You don't want to scale your resolution because you will lose a crazy load of FPS. But uh, I don't recommend to lower it. Just lower your resolution if you want to touch this, okay? So really important. After that, uh, motion blur. Make sure that uh, motion blur is at false. Where is it? Okay, motion blur here. False. Uh, it's just an effect that a lot of games just add in. Uh, if you want to play competitively or, and you really enjoy FPS, you don't want motion blur and you will gain two to three FPS. So really important for this one. Um, yeah. And that's about it for this. If you want to change your resolution, you can do it over there. Okay. And, uh, make sure that, um, your, uh, V-Sync, where is it? Use V-Sync, V-Sync at fall. If you have like a... A screen that is more than 60 Hertz uh, make sure that it's at false and even if you have a 60 Hertz screen just put it at false because you want to see if you're doing more than 60 FPS and uh, you will not like uh, you will um, it, how can I say you will touch some some problem that I saw in some game because you look at 60 it's going at 59 58 go back to 60 so you just want to unlock it to make sure so uh, that's about it guys right now i currently run the game at 63 fps average in some cities uh, i have some issues with uh when i'm using a car in some cities uh, like the big cities i'm getting like 48 50 fps that's the only what it's the only time that i'm losing less than 60. so uh yeah that's about it we're gonna wait some patches <laughs> probably the game will be uh, better because it's using i think uh, unreal engine 4 so uh uh, for sure we will have a lot more fps in the future so if you have any question guy just post me your rig cpu gpu ram in the youtube comment section i will try to, to help you the best that i can and don't forget to subscribe to the channel bye bye